Okay, when breaking down the North Division, you have to start with one of hockey's oldest rivalries, the Leafs and the Habs. Yes, these two teams have been going at it for more than 100 years, but believe it or not, this is just the 16th time they're going to meet each other in the playoffs, and the first since 1979. Now, rivalry aside, remember, a Canadian team is guaranteed to make the final for the season, and the Leafs are determined to be that team, and they've made no qualms about it. They are all in. Stanley Cup or bust. They were active at the trade deadline, and many people believed the acquisition of Nick Foligno was the missing piece they needed. Now, there are some questions surrounding goaltending in this series. When Frederick Anderson went down in March, Jack Campbell was thrust into that number one role, and he responded by winning his first 11 starts. The Habs went out and got Jake Allen on the offseason to help carry Price's workload, while Price has been out since April 19th with a concussion, but he may be available for this series. So, we could see some goaltending controversies in two cities that have a media following that just loves drama. Price is not the only Hab coming into these playoffs hurting. Brendan Gallagher still battling that broken thumb. Shea Weber out with a hand injury and no word yet on the return of Jonathan Drouin. But let's face it, this is the Leafs series to win. They won the division. Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner both finished top 10 in NHL scoring and Matthews made scoring goals look easy. Spoiler alert, they're not. And the Leafs are also stocked full of veterans who are running out of time for that elusive Stanley Cup ring. This team hasn't seen second round playoff action in 17 years. Anything less than a deep playoff run will be considered an absolute failure. Give me the Leafs in five. Okay, series two in this division features the best player on planet Earth. What Connor McDavid did this season was just insane. He's gonna need to clear some space in his trophy case when it's all said and done. And all year, his name has been put next to some of the best to ever play the game. But here's one thing. All of those players have won Stanley Cups and McDavid is still looking for his first. And you gotta figure the sting from that first round exit to Chicago of all teams last year is still fresh in their minds. But as great as he and Leon Draisaitl are, for this team to win, they can't rely on those two guys. Their secondary scoring needs to show up. Now, there was no team that came into these playoffs stumbling as bad as the Winnipeg Jets. The team spent the final stretch of the season not only losing, but losing to the bottom feeders in the division. This team, with one of the best top six in the game, have not been able to find the back of the net. And Connor Hellebuck has looked normal, which is all bad news for Winnipeg Jets fans, seeing as Connor McDavid feasted on them all season. Right now, I just can't bet against this guy. Give me the Oilers in six. Here's McDavid all the way, scores! Did that just happen? Connor McDavid, coast to coast. 